Hey guys, welcome to another Sea Paint. I'm Stoff Graphics, and today we're going to be doing a fall illustration. I can't pretend it, can't pretend For this illustration, I wanted to do something more abstract, I and I wanted to practice my flat character design. Uh, since I'm a graphic designer, I wanted to try and do some sort of art style that's not my usual that I post on this channel. So I decided to do this. Because of the holiday seasons coming up, I wanted to get something ready with Halloween, fall, Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. I wanted to try and get some fall vibes. I wanted to get some fall vibes, so I sketched out this piece and translated it to Illustrator. Something that I will say, I do a couple edits with the piece. Not all the things were up to my liking in the sketch, so I do change them. You'll see later on that the edits are pretty minor or pretty selective. It's not too big of a problem, but to me it makes the piece. I also wanted to create this piece because I wanted something to stock up my shop. Down below will be my shop, stoffgraphics.com. There you'll be directed to my store and you'll be able to purchase any of my prints that I have on sale. You'll be able to order large prints that are letter paper size, postcards, and stickers. I may or may not have some buttons in the making, we'll see how those turn out. If I do design those or have any ideas posted, I will notify you guys on Instagram and you guys can possibly vote on what I make. With the line art, I really wanted something fine to combat the blocky kind of style of the characters. I do add little detail to the sweaters, to the face, and the hair. their noses I wanted something blockier from what I seen other people that do the flat character style add a line for the nose but I wanted to try something new with just a sort of shape in the color palette Here I'm adding just a little bit of framework for the mom or parent figure. I didn't think where they were placed were where I envisioned, so I do move them center just to make sure it was perfect. I try and do just a flat background, but then I decide against it. And then later on you'll see I do a background. I import some leaves that I've made because I think they would work for this print. So I add those 
reshape them a little bit just to make sure they flow in and don't create too much of a mess. Here you see the barn that I've created. I add this one for the background so it does add that illustrative touch I wanted. So I trace around the liner of the barn just to add that touch and to block in the colors from my color palette that I have exported. The color palette that I exported uh, was from colors.com. Uh, they do like a bunch of different other color palettes and they make sure they are cohesive. Uh, you can look and filter through them and see what colors you want. But um, I saw this one and just thought it would work for fall. The barn was definitely finer detail than I thought I would have made. I am pretty proud that I did make it this far. Something I would do were maybe some of the details. I'd create a better way to trace them or would just create them in Illustrator myself so I don't have any weird perspective. Don't know why you have heard that your sound and observe. Can't you see this is real? And you know how I feel. As we're going out, I do add just a few more bits and pieces for the details, just making sure that they're all right and transform them just to manipulate them even more making sure they actually work within this piece. I edit some of the colors, making sure it's not too dark or light, and it's just right with the rest of the colors of the barn. over the pumpkins making sure I do get what I wanted with getting a varied amount of interesting shapes as not all pumpkins are the same I wanted to kind of relate that in this piece I edit some of the curves and make sure they are joined and actually are shapes Later on, I do edit the colors, making sure they're not all just the same boring thing. And with that, I do add the colors from the leaves, which are blue and cyan. I then add some detail to the hay bales, making sure it looks like a farm and isn't just weird blocks that are a part of this. Thank you. 
I also make the grass blue, making it even more interesting. With the blue ground, I do have to edit and go around the blue pumpkins, making sure you can actually see that they are pumpkins and not just weird mounds. I then add the stalks of the pumpkins. I go around just making sure I get the shapes, and then I go back in, fill them, and then also make them go behind the actual pumpkins. It definitely was a hassle trying to get the stocks behind there. I do accidentally select a bunch of other items. Once we thought that we would stay young And these bodies never go with the final piece, I thought I was done. I felt the arms were a little weird with their position and just how they weren't bent. So I do go back in and add the cuffs and the actual bent arm. And then I redraw the hands, which I did off screen. I forgot to record that. But with this one, I do definitely feel confident about how I did the arm. With the line art, it wasn't that hard to edit. I just go back in, redraw what I messed up on, and then manipulate it just to fit in. Go in with a few final touches, and then I make sure everything else fits what I want. a little bit of blush to the characters, making sure I was happy with the amount of detail. I felt like the barn was clashing with the mom's face, so I do edit that, and I do shrink it just to make sure it fits, and then we're done. I had so much fun making this piece, going with the flow, and just seeing what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Additionally, if you would like this print, it'll be available on my shop with all the other prints that I have available. I will also have this Headless Horseman print available on my shop. Additionally, I will have some stickers on sale. If you would like to have any of these items, just go to stoffgraphics.com store and you'll be able to order all the items that you would like. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, good day and bye.